Today, I have a quick but informative tutorial based around the Illustrator Perspective Grid. You will see how to use it in conjunction with such things as logo designing in Adobe Illustrator. If you want to skip the intro, you can move to the timestamp in the corner. Well, what is up people, welcome back to Satori Graphics, the home of graphic design content right here on YouTube. The perspective grid can be annoying at first, and I feel some designers don't utilize this awesome tool enough in Adobe Illustrator. So let's take a look at the Illustrator Perspective Grid tool. In Adobe Illustrator, you can find the Perspective Grid tool right here in the Tools panel. As soon as you click it, a grid will appear automatically. I will show you how to hide it later in the tutorial. With the Perspective tool still selected, you can drag the handles at the side to adjust the angle of the grid up to the top apex. Here in the bottom, you can raise up or lower down the base level of the perspective on the grid. I advise that you spend a few minutes playing around with the different handles on the grid, seeing what adjustments you can make. You can click Ctrl or Command Z to go back a step if you change the perspective grid in a way you do not intend to. You can even separate the two sides here if you ever need to be doing that for your graphic designs. If you accidentally open the grid or you don't want to see it anymore, simply go up to View, Perspective Grid and then Hide. Now I'm going to show you a simple design using the perspective grid in Illustrator. Here's the grid I'm going to be using for my simple logo design, and you'll want to choose a stroke in the color palette. Take the pen tool and start to draw in your design. I'm going to draw a block, change the shape to a fill, and then draw another box in the middle. Then select both squares by holding down shift and then open up the pathfinder tool. Using the minus front option we're going to cut out the middle section. For the second section of my design I'm going to continue the same method as before, drawing in my design with the pen tool. If you're designing a logo it's always best to sketch out your ideas on paper first and then bring them to a digital form. The logo here is just a random design I'm making up showing you how to use a perspective grid in Illustrator. When you're finished, hide the grid and then edit your design as you see fit. So did you find my Illustrator perspective grid tutorial useful? Let me know in the comment section below and subscribe for four weekly graphic design uploads on Satori Graphics. Until next time, design your future today. Peace.